Hi, my name is Reese. And my name is Taryn. And this is Talking CAR. We are members of the Jason Rosa Society in Massachusetts. If you haven't heard of us yet, well, you have now. In this monthly podcast, we are going to be talking all things CAR. Now let's get started. <laughs> Welcome to the third episode of our podcast, Talking CAR. This episode is going to be a little bit different from the other ones. So we're going to have two topics for this episode. The first one being about the National Program Packet, and the second being about Constitution Week, coming up later this month. So, let's just get right into it. So now that regional tour is over, where you learned about the contests, and it's state packet meeting season, where you're learning even more about the contests, now what for your society? So, you may have seen seniors trying to get their hands on it, hunched over it, scribbling in it, with (laughs) scribbling notes in it, a booklet, the superior booklet, an amazing booklet. The best booklet. Your CAR Bible for the year. It's the The program program packet. So, you can use this program packet for anything. And if you don't have one, you can still get one. By contact, you can get one by contacting the National National CAR headquarters through email. Or you can call call them. them. Or you can go to the NSCR website at www.nscar.org under Program and Packet to find a PDF copy of the National Program Packet. So, you can use the pro- The program holds all of the contests for the 2019-2020 year. And you're going to want to use this to plan your year. So, you can read through the Program Packet, which I can't believe you haven't done already, And you can find all the contests that you want to enter and bring them to the seniors of your local society and tell them, this is the contest I want to enter, and plan your year. When planning your year, you got to make sure to think outside the box. You do have the objective and program of the contest to work off of. And the suggestions, they're only suggestions. The possibilities are endless. You need to enter these contests based on your society's needs. Like, you may have a society with different age groups. Yeah, so our society is full with little littles. We have a lot of little kids. So we base our society's entries off of our age group of our society. So it's easier for the little kids. But for your societies with older kids, you can make it better for them instead of for little kids yeah so you can always make it so that it adapts to your society Mm -hmm. and when you use these ideas for contests you can use them when you plan your meetings at those meetings make sure to document everything you do i can't can't even tell you document document everything you do take pictures write notes Save receipts. If you need it. (laughs) Do anything you can to try to help you enter contests and anything you might need. Because the more information you have, the better. So, of the five levels you can earn for national merit, the top four levels require a minimum of a project or program on the national project contest. And six national committee entries. See the National Merit Award for more information. And so um, the national committees are the national chairman contest. So make sure to enter six of those if you're planning to enter National Merit Award. But the national president is a must. Yeah. So one project or program always could be used for multiple contests. So always make your things so that you could use them for anything. And never limit yourself. Yes. The minimum is seven, but feel free to do all of them if you can. (laughs) 
as many as you want. Trust me, it's really fun. Mm. <laughs> and now that you know what to do, talk to your local society seniors. Plan your year. I'm sure they'll love hearing from you. Good luck. <laughs> and now on to the commercial. Did you know that the National Society Children of the American Revolution has a big anniversary coming up? NSCAR will be celebrating its 125th anniversary on April 5th, 2020. What better way to celebrate than to buy a pin? Available for a limited time, the 125th anniversary pin is a gold eagle with a red banner and a blue shield. Get yours for just $125 at your regional meeting. Proceeds go to fund the 125th anniversary celebrations. Don't be without one. Get yours now. We the people, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility. Provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. Do ordain and establish this constitution. Welcome back! Most of you may recall that song because it is the refrain from the song about the Constitution from Schoolhouse Rock. And that leads us straight into the second topic for this month's podcast, which Con- is Constitution Week. <laughs> so you may be asking yourself, what, what is, is the, the U.S. Constitution? <laughs> Well, it is the rules and principles of how the government is run. And some of these principles are how we have a commitment to governing ourselves and the insistence that all people are equal under law. Constitution Week is celebrated from September 17th to 23rd because the Constitution was founded on September 17th 1789. Constitution Week is a commemoration to America's most important document, the Constitution. And it was started by, by none our other, parenting organization, none other than Daughters, Daughters of, of the American, American Revolution. Revolution. <laughs> so, DIR petitioned Congress to set aside the 17th to 23rd of September for Constitution Week. The resolution was adopted by the U.S. Congress, and it became public law on August 2, 1956. Constitution Week is meant to emphasize citizen responsibilities towards defending the Constitution, to inform people about how the Constitution is the foundation of heritage, and to encourage the study of historical events leading up to the creation of the Constitution. We have some ideas to celebrate that we would like to share with all of you. So, you can hand out copies of the Constitution to teach people about its importance. And feel free to get these free printable pocket U.S. Constitutions to print, build, and share. So, you can visit www.constitutionbooklet.com. We were handing out a bunch last year. And you can get, you can put your name on the back and get your name out there. And it really just is important in helping people learn more about the Constitution. You can also present a program about the Constitution to either like your DA, your local DAR chapter, your CAR society, you can do it to your state society, or anywhere. You could set up a display in your local library. If your local library has a display case that's open to the public, you could set up a display about the Constitution during Constitution Week. Or you can have a coloring contest <laughs> about the Constitution and like what it means to you. I don't know. That's a good one for all of the younger members. 
You could post on social media about what you did for Constitution Week, how your society is helping, or just to remind people about Constitution Week. One of the biggest ways to promote Constitution Week is to request a proclamation from your local governor or local government. If you visit their webpage, you may find a link or a tab that can lead you to a form that you can fill out to request the proclamation. But be prepared because they will most likely ask for wording for this proclamation. So you can either Google examples or you can visit the DAR Constitution Week Committee page and they'll have plenty of examples. So once you get your proclamation, show it off. Be proud of it. Promote it. Take pictures with it. Post pictures of it. Post pictures of you with it. Post pictures of you and your friends with it. Post pictures of you and your dog with it. Post pictures of your dog with it. Whatever. Do anything <laughs> you can to promote it. Take the picture. possibilities are endless. Take pictures of you and your government or local, your governor or local government with it. Post it everywhere. Show it off to everyone. Put it in a library display. Do anything. Okay. So, now, have fun celebrating Constitution Week. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Talking C.A.R. We'll see you next month. Bye! Bye. <laughs> That's our podcast for this month. You can find our podcast on Buzzsprout, Spotify, and iTunes. Be sure to tune in again next month. Mm-hmm.